Day in, day out, just crazy. You know, it's it's like punching in for work. For sure. <laughs> we'll see you in winners finals. It's like the new. It's like the new uh, canine void. <laughs> there you go. That that is true. And it's always funny, you know. You get like your local heroes that always. It doesn't matter what happens in bracket. They're still there. You know, they can run into the prodigy kid, and they still make it through. They run yeah. into you know to the Meta Knight Ace, and they still make it through. And you know, of course, I'm uh, alluding to the fact that I'm hit. Beat Spargo to get here. Razo beat um, Armando to get here. Oh, and, oh there's God. an early lead right there. Big purple four and smash. Yeah. And of course, each player using uh, Alomar, Daisy. And we're going to see a lot of Pikmin tossing coming out from I'm Hip. And the hitbox machine coming out from Razo as Daisy. Yeah, man. Poor Pikmin. They really don't stand <laughs> a chance. So that, that, that dress looking like a lawnmower sometimes with just how many <laughs> hitbox coming out. <laughs> Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Very elusive, able to get away. Now he's building a little bit of a lead. 51% yeah, already solidly mounted onto Razo. And there you go. Covers the air. Yep, and 51% could disappear in the blink of an eye. But it'll be interesting to see, because we were seeing before, you know, with against Meta Knight, 55 to 60 damage. I wonder if he can get the same, you know, the same action on Olimar. Should be pretty close. Yeah, you think the, the weights are similar, yeah. right? The sizes as well. And speaking of weights, uh, <laughs> of weights, got him with a purple up smash, all the pop, and Razzle looking at a, a deficit for the first time. Huge one, in fact. A full stock lead for I'm Hit here. Sitting at the ledge, kind of taking his time. Not really uh, too much to worry about. And he lost that purple pick, man. And he saw Razzle trying to kill it with the down tilt, keeping it away. Oh, he knows. And he went from an uh, edge guard situation to now having two purples. And this is not what, what Rosalind wanted coming into game one. Wow, he parried the, <laughs> the Peach Bomber, kept him off stage. I'll have to keep that in mind, you know, you, you just throw out the shield and make the Peach Bomber connect instead of it grabbing the ledge. Yeah. Oh, man. Commanding statement bad. game one from I'm Hip. Dang, he knew. He knew. A little impressive. You saw the, the eyebrow raise <laughs> and the head nod. Raza focusing, just taking a deep breath. Raza. Meditating on it a little bit. You can kind of feel the, the energy think, in the uh, room. Yeah, last week they played here as well, I believe. Right around here in grand finals. and I, uh, Might have been the week before, too. Yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> last week he actually had pulled out Ridley oh. and I'm hip, that is, pulled out Ridley and Inklings. So. And the thing about stage is, oh, they're going If he right moves back. up, 2-0 in this set, might there's a possibility he might, he might swap characters for sure. Hey, sometimes you just gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta bench the starter and, uh, you know, see, get some bullpen help yeah, and see yeah. what happens. But for right now, he's gonna stick with it, see if he can make some adaptations. He's, you know, he's done it before, shown himself capable of taking games, so let's see if he got the adaptations, you know. It's gotta always be a precarious position for I'm hit. He's always one exchange away from the damage train coming out from Daisy. Right, landing on him with the double neutral airs, or was that neutral air uh, up to yeah, neutral air up spinny to thing to yeah. spinny to thing to other spin. <laughs> spinny to spinny. <laughs> uh, he's trying to read that with the with the toad counter. Didn't quite get it. Yeah, if anything, I mean, he's gonna want to be careful of the toad counter because I I definitely think I'm hit is picking up on this and kind of baiting him out because the, the counter does put Razo in a ton of lag. Right, he's able to punish. He's in his head. He's just dashing in and out, and Raza looks a little uncomfortable right there. Able to get a grab, though. Let's see if he's able to get some damage off of it. Uh, Nothing, unfortunately. So slippery by him. There's the blue grab. He's going to pizza toss him right into the sky. 74% <laughs> on I'm hip here. Make that 89. Oh, and oh, the stitch is out. Eye. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he. I God. thought. Oh, my God. And he teched. He had to have been. He, and he, he got the ready. whistle he armor. Ready. He got the whistle armor, too. Oh, my God. It's a big place, and that one exchange oh my netted God. him 46%. Uh, that, that one exchange, he at least a 46%. Still rate. living. Oh my uh, God, sniped him. Sniped? 46%. Oh, after all of that, that was only 46%, yeah. dude. There was so much slugging going yeah. on. But that one exchange was, you know, that yeah. one that one whistle, oh, let yeah. him do it, and it's going to help him uh, keep the lead. And again, a whistle into a forward smash it. The whistle actually puts... Um, I'm hip in a really good position, it seems, with how Razo is floating. So right. if he just whistles through and throws out a hitbox, like there's they a, good, ch a hit good chance yeah. like Razo's gonna land into it. Yeah. 
And actually, after after the lead, uh, Razo's done some work and battled himself back into his own lead. Oh, oh he got the Pikmin DC. things. <laughs> Yeah, you saw so that Pikmin DC. He tried to forward smash to the blue, <laughs> and it said no. His nope. trainer level is not high enough. Oh he needs more God. badges. <laughs> it's Pokemon match, right? I yeah. think that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at a high enough level. <laughs> Can you imagine being the Pikmin that says, I'm hip is not at a high enough trainer level? Nope. Oh my God, <laughs> dude, that's a ballsy Pikmin. Yeah. And a Razo ballsy taking the play lead. from Razo, yeah, with the forward air. 112% on his second stock right now, though. One solid hit from I'm Hip will uh, even out the game. Yeah, let's see if he's able to hold on to this lead. He's got, he doesn't have the killer line, purple, he's red, and blue. For the blue. Oh, oh, he's, he's got it. Yep. Yep. There's the throw. Ra's a little frustrated because I think he, he meant to even play anti grab in that situation because yeah. he knew what was coming. Yeah, yeah. They but yeah, he yeah. still got grabbed, you know. <laughs> Sooner or later, the pigment comes from all of us. It was very obvious. Like, <laughs> I'm Hip was looking for that grab. Yeah, you see him juggling those Pikmin around, shuffling. It's like, oh, I know what's coming. He's going to try to blue grab me. <laughs> right down to the last stock. Yeah, it's going to be very pivotal. You know, you don't want to fall down 2-0 to, to I'm hip if uh, Raz is able to close. Oh, very Ooh, big play. And, and he, he shall him off. not fall down, putting one on the board, sniping him out of the sky with the Daisy Bomber. Gutsy. Dude, that's crazy. He, he just went for it. That's uh. He got him with the very tail end of that move. I've seen him. I've definitely seen him like combo into that, or just straight up like get a read on someone off stage. That's that's a move I didn't think I would be seeing like killing in in, in that particular situation right. so often. But here we are, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate at Wednesday Night Fights, and it is in fact happening. Going right back to Pokemon Stadium Two. Yeah. And it's yeah pivotal game three. I'm Hip had won the first one, but of course Razo battling back, taking the second one and oh just keeping the momentum running. That's 70 damage. And he's built himself built himself a little lead. That's the crazy thing. Both these characters have such good damage outputs that yeah. they build a lead and it could disappear in the blink of an eye. But Razo had pretty good control. Oh, he baited out that counter. I think he's kinda gotta pick his spots like you were saying a little earlier on that on that tilt that tilt counter. Because even when the hitbox comes out, it's like it's enough lag that if it doesn't hit, I'm hip directly. It puts him in a bad position, and you know, oh, uh oh, that yeah. turn up doing so much work. Absolutely, Raza trying to make this play happen by the ledge. Yeah. Good purple to cover the yeah. That, that purple pigment toss is like hey, demi, uh, you know, the quick four put, smash. <laughs> put, put in so much work with those purples. I mean, he was able to regain center stage. Yeah. Unfortunately, loses another stock to a forward air right there. And uh, Raza sitting at a good 81% on his first stock. Down air to back air, and another one chasing him with these down airs. He's gonna land on him. Oh my god. Now he'll make it back. And. He's still got, but uh, I'm Hip has his killer line. Let's see, there's a purple forward smash. And he's only down 50. Good landing, uh, good invincibility option. Let's see. Razo's got him trapped. And he burned the purple. Oh my god. Wow. Word. I wonder I'm if that surprised. lagged on the pigment a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right? I think it had to have, because yeah. I'm shocked that hit. And nonetheless, it did. And Raza is going to take that all the way to the bank. Here he comes across with this train of neutral airs. I mean, they don't even have to hit. Just the fact that he's oh. throwing them out there is such a like strong presence. It's really put makes your, your opponent think, like, how am I, how am I going to approach this right. character who just has a whirling hitbox constantly out? I have got a little bit of a re-preview. It was in uh, such... Ten, like, it's such a terrible Ooh. situation. Dude. I was able to get back God. with the uh, Peach Bomber, but um, they're playing neutral right now. I don't Got know him. how Raza <laughs> wasn't dead in that whole exchange, dude. Like, I'm hip was swinging. He killed both those there big men. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if it's enough at 100, but it is. Man, Boo's killed so so early, and I'm, I'm sure the 146% <laughs> yeah. that uh, I'm hip was holding on to didn't matter. Kiss the crown, Rage. and we're coming in evens on uh, game three. Yeah, keep in mind that also uh, the more Pikmin that Olimar has, that the stronger the throws become, uh -huh. they also become a little bit laggier. So vice versa, if he has less Pikmin, they're a little less strong with less lag. Oh, he's going for the ending right there. He had a charged purple forward smash, but Raz was able to clip him before it hit. And let's see, he's got momentum. All these players in neutral, and he's got a little bit. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he almost tried to get a Dude, repeat of game two. That might have been strong enough to kill yeah, him. Yeah, probably would have. Like, 
Okay. I almost got it. I saw I'm hip going for the read for the forward smash. Oh, that was really smart. He threw, he, you know, a lot of players would have just gone for the immediate smash attack right there, but he uh, decided to latch on the Pikmin for more damage. And that was a clutch purple, but he's back off stage. Let's see if he's able to battle back. He wants to get out of there. Good couple bucks. Any Pikmin, doesn't matter. Help him get out of that situation. Hey, yeah, I'm here just been running away. Like, let me get a Pikmin out. Oh my God! All right, here we go. <laughs> what a lineup right now for I'm Hip. I mean, if he's not able to kill with a grab right now, that white will certainly do enough damage. It's and gone now. Stomping the yard, covering the edge, and I'm Hip's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, good purple toss. Caught Razo trying to play that neutral footsie. Oh, here's the blue man. Smart play. He threw one off so that he was able to uh, pull out another one, knowing he got the blue in line. Yeah, he's got that blue on deck. Oh, oh that's he it. blinked. No. Oh, he went for the Peach Bomber. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, he risked it for the biscuit, <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, I'm hip it up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he was like, little did you know, I put the biscuit there. <laughs> it's a bait. That's a bait biscuit. <laughs> he's fishing for it. <laughs> I'm hip laughing it off. Uh, he's up, you know, 2-1, sitting comfortably going into game four. But these are some tight matches, you yeah, know. It's just... It's kind of, you know, both players are able to put on so much damage, and whoever gets the other one off stage first, both these characters are able to edge guard each, each other so well. Yeah, it seems like they have, like, pretty, like, I mean, they're both floaty, like, kind of floaty characters, and they really strong advantage state yeah. with weak disadvantage. Right. So. Uh, although I would say, like, Peach's disadvantage is a little bit stronger right. in this case. But I'm hip as a player. He just yeah. his uh, guard breaking, uh, you know, technique is so strong. He He's can, able to get out of some situations that most all would die in. He can really like whittle down his opponent, right. really like pick them apart. Yeah, he's got him off stage. Let's see, he's able to do. Uh, I think he went for a different down, a different smash attack right there. Whoa, was that a downer? Just sent him back to the stage. Wasn't able to get a follow up off the, off the ground bounce, but still sending a message to Razo nonetheless. A bit of a scary situation yeah. here by the ledge. He makes his way back to the center. That was interesting. Oh, he had Razo okay. trying to cover the jump out with a forward air over and over again. I like that. He dropped zone and tried to hit him with the purple side B. Uh, it would have been good to prevent Raza from making it back to the stage so safely. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Olimar is able to counter that parasol with the down air or something like that when he goes, oh. you know, when uh, Daisy goes low. Yeah, yeah it's possible. Especially with like a purple. Yeah. Right? yeah. Purple forward air, not quite enough to kill and he's got that white on. And at that point, the white's not even there for the damage, just to create lag when he throws yeah. out a move. Kind of slow the, uh, the daisy down just a little bit. Oh, uh, he wanted that forward air. Didn't quite get it. Right. And speaking of forward airs, Razo able to come up with one, and he's yeah. got himself a little bit of a lead. Razo picking up on the uh, jump from the ledge there from behind the hip, just throwing out the forward air, getting that first stock. And he's going to need it, too, because he's already at 169, down by a game. I'm hit potentially one more yeah, to very, go into winners. Very good uh, counter grand finals. <laughs> very good guard break from uh, I'm hip right there, throwing out the up air, cover you know, because he knew Raz was gonna try to cover the ledge. God, this damage is excruciating and a turn up snipe as well. Luckily the purple there to save the day for I'm hit. Taking so much damage here on these off stage exchanges though. It's almost like in this matchup, percent doesn't even really matter. <laughs> you either, honestly, either, honestly, yeah. You're not in kill percent or you're in kill or percent. Those are the only yeah. things that you need to pay, really right, pay attention to. Razo securing yet another stock and only 8% on stock two. And he's about to open up a big oh, lead. Dude, 45. Oh, easy. he dropped the 45. It's, uh, you know, we're hoping for that 60, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. All right. He's like, I got you, Lux. Oh, big play with those purples. I don't think I'm hip knew that he got that down air. Otherwise, he might have followed it a little yeah. more aggressively. Oh my god, that up air almost looking like it's, it was enough to do the job. The next one might do it, especially yeah. if he catches him uh, like too close to the top line zone. And here's that white. He wants that. Yeah. And he's just got a little, a little bit more damage, and he should be in that kill percent. All right, here we go. Uh, two purples and a blue. Yeah, he's got that kill lineup, and he's got. Just gotta get a grab, and there it is. He wants it. Oh my good, God, good presence of mind by Raza just to know to float. Yeah, a little out of sorts right now for I'm Hip. He knows his win condition. It's just uh, Raza's picking up on it. 
And oh, that, that yeah, should do it. Dude. <laughs> the toad. That looks so sick. Yeah, I, one thing that I'm also noticing that uh, I'm Hip isn't doing as much as I previously mentioned in other sets is that he's not really like able to like parry much in, yeah. this, in this matchup. It just seems like a matchup where it's just going to be hard right. to do. Well, right? like, usually players are like keying off if they know when their opponent's going to land, yeah. and that's when they parry. Right. But you can't really do that against the yeah, floats because no. they could just aerial at any time because they're just floating there. Yep, yep. It's, it's tough. Yeah, it's way too hard. It's, uh, it's definitely like almost just not even worth going for the parry because yeah. you're, you're probably just going to get hit by something else. And they're going to see you drop shield, and they're like, ha, got him. All right, winner's finals, game 60%. five. Razo, after a pretty commanding win in game four, let's see if he's able to seal it out or if I'm Hip's able to battle back. Game four is always such a big momentum right there. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, the uh, momentum going forward in Razo's favor right there. I mean, Q45%, it's like almost nothing compared to what we've seen Razo output, but it's still really solid. Oh, a little dash attack out. And now they're playing the close quarters game, just trying to open each other up. A little different game plan coming into game five for both of them. I always remind him, he's throwing out some really jank options that he hadn't been throwing out earlier in the set. Some adaptation on the fly. I mean, he, it's, if anything, it's like these are options that he really was like saving for yeah. a game five situation. Yeah. You're not gonna pull your trump cards out until the very, very uh, end of it. Oh, he tried to reverse that situation. Got a little greedy with that Nair. He probably could have uh, fallen away a little bit. That's the only thing, you know, Peach's, or not Peach's, Daisy's mobility is just a little little rough. That was such good recovery coming out from my hit. But unfortunately, Razo's still going to pick it up and get this extra damage in. Oh, no. <laughs> he had Razo. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. he, didn't need to do it. he didn't need to do it. <laughs> Razo had, had so much pressure on I'm hit, and I'm hit just barely holding on and able to convert it into a stock. Wow, excellent DI coming out from I'm hit, DI towards the corner. Saving himself from that dash attack, but not from that backer. Dead even stocks and percents here, a 0-0 zero, zero situation. Yeah, if you like close matches, you're in for a treat screen. It looks like it's coming down to the wire. Who do you got? I'm hip and Razo both a trip to grand finals on the line. I'm hip already outputting so much damage as well. But Razo really not going to let that happen. Yeah, trying Four to keep freeze. pace. Just trying to keep pace, putting 45 of his own. And that, could, that lead could disappear in the blink of an eye. Oh, maybe a miscue. Probably wanted a forward air instead of a Pikmin toss. And even the blue putting in a little bit of work. <laughs> hey, man, everyone's got to carry their weight, in this, especially in a game five. Oh, almost that turn up was so close to hitting. And Razo's got him where he wants him. Oh, my God. Probably wouldn't want that edge guard situation back, but I'm hit being so slippery. It's so hard to uh, take his stocks. Oh, okay. Yeah, he I got the ledge the, off. Yeah, that was a, like a normal getup, yeah. I think. All right. Scattered <laughs> out. <laughs> forward air. You know, it's just a. Oh, oh, like. It's and they're both. The Swiss Army knife. <laughs> they're both uh, plant farming. Just one pit pulling turn out, one pulling the Pikmin. <laughs> Dude, the more I think about it, how similar these characters are. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't think looking yeah, at them, right? but they're like, like they're kind of similar. Damage right? output, yeah. they edge guard the crap out of people, and you <laughs> know, and they're both here in winners finals. Yeah. Last stock, game five. Raza right. taking a breath this and locking it. in. All or nothing, and I'm hit down by 15%. Definitely nothing in the face of an all of our combo. And I'm hit in a little bit of trouble, only has the one purple and. Razo putting in all the damage. Oh yeah, Razo recognizing that this is my moment. He's gonna want to pull a Pikmin, so he's gonna want to run away. I need to keep the pressure up. And he's doing that so effectively. And all those Pikmin didn't matter. He's just going right through them, and he's back to that one purple again. And Razo just saying, "All right, the Pikmin can't do it. I'm gonna do it myself." You seen all the nares coming out? Oh no! Wow. Okay. Hey. Was able to survive just a little bit longer. Yeah, almost. Oh, there you go. Got the trump. Dang, and a little pop off from Razo. Razo, yeah. I believe this is like the second time he's beat I'm Hip. And the first time was, mm -hmm. I think, the first time period right. that he had beat him. But, uh, from my understanding, uh, I'm Hip's always been a bit of a demon for Razo. Yeah. So definitely really good stuff.
Yeah, able to keep himself <laughs> in the game and secure that clutch game five. You want to talk about a time to...